is going on guys snickle here and today i have another platinum trophy video for you guys today i'm going to be getting the platinum trophy in the perplexing orb 2 for the playstation 4 now the last trophy that i do have to get is the path of perplexity which is to complete the final stage the final stage is a combination of everything that you've kind of learned and played through throughout all of the other previous stages. You don't need to do every single stage in the game in order to unlock the final stage, but it is a good little challenge and this game has a lot of good puzzles to play through. But anyway, with all of that being said, let's get right into this video. Typically, I would stream all my Platinum Trophies over on Twitch, but I was fortunate enough to get a early release of the game. so. Thank you, Treefall Studios, and thank you, Eli, over at Treefall Studios for sending me a review copy of the game. I have to say that I was strangely satisfied with the game. Now, I'm not really sure how that sounds, but going into this game, I didn't really know exactly what to expect. I've played a lot of, like, maze-type games, and you would really think that it's kind of just, like, almost kind of shovelware, if you want to say, or, like, like an asset-type game, but... I have to say that this game was actually very, very, very satisfying to play with the physics, the different type of puzzles. It's not really just like going around and like going on these tight sections and then transforming the ball down. No, there's like all these cool aspects that are added to the game. Like, you know, these one platforms where you can kind of stick to and shoot yourself, shoot yourself up, which you'll see in the final stage as we're going through here. There's this one where these there's these sections that kind of fall as you hit them after so many seconds, they fall. And the really cool thing that I found about the game was that, like, if the ball is falling off of something, you can, if your reaction is fast enough, you can actually save yourself from falling. So it's not kind of like, if you're off, it's over. You, you can kind of save yourself, um, which I thought was, was pretty fun. So there are four stages throughout the game with a final stage that combines everything that you've learned in each of those four stages. Each stage will give you some new aspect to the game, whether it's these falling platforms, whether it's, um, you know, the the magnet one where you can connect to it, or it's, you know, platforms that rotate as you hit them, kind of. Um, so it's cool that all of that is kind of implemented into the game into different stages, so you can kind of master it as you're playing through those stages. And then when you go and play the final stage, you have all of that practice in those previous stages. Now, for the trophies, you don't have to play through every stage, which I would have loved to see that. I would have loved to see beating every single stage and then uh, getting the final stage unlocked by beating every single stage because you don't necessarily have to do that. You're going to unlock stages by collecting these things called artifact tokens. And the way that you collect these artifact tokens is you collect these little um, cubes that are kind of around the map. And once you collect all of the cubes that are on that level, you then are given an artifact token. And up in the one of the corners, it'll tell you how many in the right hand corner. See in the right hand corner, it'll tell you that circle with the square inside of it is the artifact token. It'll tell you when you have it, it'll turn gold. The one next to it goes up as you collect the little um, squares or cubes. And then the dots next to it are going to show how many like retries you get at the level before it completely resets the level and you kind of have to start over at square one. So I think everything is laid out great. Again, the game feels great. The puzzles aren't too difficult, um, but I like this final stage. And honestly, I would have loved to see like a final stage, a final like almost set of puzzles that made you utilize everything instead of one final stage. But I love the final stage and how it makes you kind of utilize everything you've learned as you've been playing through the game in order to kind of get through this final stage. So that's really a breakdown of the game. If you guys um, haven't picked it up, it does come out today on um, November 17th. So I would highly recommend to go pick it up. It's a great little game and it'll take you a few hours to get through, but it's very satisfying to play. And it's not one of these like Rattalika shovelware games where like you're going to get done in like 10 minutes. You're going to feel like dirty after doing it. Like it's a very, very satisfying, fun game. And the puzzles are great as you're playing through. So here we go. We are pulling up here on the last um, on the last set of puzzles. These platforms right here are those rotating platforms that I was telling you about. So kind of when the orb hits them, um, they drop down, you know, with gravity as anything would. Um, they're pivoting around the middle. So 
I was, I don't know what I was doing here. I must have been playing with my eyes um, shut and my controller upside down because I, I'm not getting um, along here too great. But here we go. We'll get along this uh, platform, this path. We'll take a few things. We'll start zooming. The other cool thing about this game, which I think it has a lot of potential to do, is like possible speed runs because there are, there's certain things where like you can fly through it if you kind of learn the game. And I think that that's, there's, there's some good opportunity there. So here we go. You press R2, we shoot off of it, and then we'll hit that finishing post. I believe that's what it's called. And we will get our trophy, the Path of Perplexity. And then we will get this Platinum Trophy, Not So Perplexing After All Part 2. So that's Perplexing Orb uh, 2 Platinum. I need to go get the first one. But anyway, let's take a look at this list. So here it is 100% with a Platinum, no DLC or anything. And as you're looking through the game here, you're going to notice that there's a lot of trophies for just hitting certain finish posts and then getting all of those um, artifact tokens. And then there's a few random trophies down at the bottom. Really, really simple list. But in the future, I would love to see some more of those random trophies. And even if there's some hard stages that uh, need to be beaten one time without failing, that would be awesome to see um, because there was a trophy like that that I accidentally got. But there's a few trophies on the bottom that I would consider kind of random. And it added a little, a little curveball and a little challenge to the game. So that was pretty cool. So anyway, here's the profile trophy level 530, 51%. I've got 11,941 total trophies. I've got 8,174 bronze, 2,642 silver, 950 gold, 175 platinums. And like I said, 11,941 total trophies. And then here's the platinum trophy itself. Not so perplexing after all part two. So again, this game does come out today. So if you are looking at getting a, a nice little platinum, I would definitely suggest to pick it up. Again, it's nothing that's going to be too, too difficult, but I think that if there was to be a another game in the series or something like that, it would be great to see some more trophies that are that, that kind of make it a little more difficult and will actually kind of get people to um, do some of the uh, sections without failing. I think personally that the final stage really shouldn't be opened until you've really done everything else in the game, possibly even collected every single artifact token in the game to unlock the final stage. But I can see why the final stage doesn't make you do that because it can kind of deter people away if you make it too difficult. So, um, but again, I, I can't suggest the game enough to people. So let's give this a little rating and time out of 10. So time it's going to take you to get the platinum, you're probably looking at um, two to three hours. It took me five hours, but I think it took me around five hours, but I actually took like a two hour break in the middle, two, three hour break in the middle. So you're probably looking anywhere between two to three hours. Honestly, you could probably get it done sub two hours if you really, really wanted to. Um, rating out of 10, I'm going to give it like a two to three out of 10, really nothing too difficult. Again, there's those like, there's aspects to the game, like the morphing the ball or using the magnet um, thing to shoot it or um, the platforms that fall or the platforms that rotate. Getting just to, getting to know those might take a little second, um, but it's nothing too difficult. And really, honestly, you just put a little bit of time in, you'll be able to get it. Anyone will be able to get it. So two to three out of 10, uh, two to three hours. I love the number two to three. Um, but that is the Perplexing Orb 2. Again, it comes out today, so go pick it up in the store if you want a nice little fun game. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments below if you've played the game, if you plan on picking it up or anything like that. I love reading all the comments. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff. My Twitter, my Twitch, other videos like this, my Discord server. So if you want to go follow me or join any of that stuff, I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, I do stream all my Platinum Trophies and various other things over on Twitch. There is a link for that down in the description below. Like I said, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. And I hope to see you all around sometime soon.